Hello, my name is Hannah and I'm here with Y Yoga. We're about to do a glide and slide abdominal 10 minute class. So grab yourself something that is slippery on your floor. If you have hardwood surface, you can use washcloths. If you have a carpet, you can try using old magazines. Also, if you use lids off plastic containers, those work also. Just be mindful that they can be really slippery. So you do want to have strong shoulders and a strong core before you start using the gliders. I highly recommend you try some of our other videos where we focus on the shoulders and the core, and then you can join us using the gliders. So we'll start with our first exercise. I'd like you to have some padding underneath your knees, and then you really just need lots of floor space. So we'll start with our gliders underneath the hands, spread out your fingers, and then make sure you have tons of room in front of you because you will be sliding forward. So your knees are apart. You're going to just basically lean yourself slightly ahead, scoop the tail under, and then roll yourself up into a very rounded back. And then slide your arms ahead, scoop the tail under, and really feel your pelvic floor lifting, your belly scooping in, rounding the spine. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. We're getting into the abdominals. We're also getting into a little bit of the underarms. And then from there, you're going to come into a little bit of a lean. So now you're in a bit a plank. And then take your right arm, reach it forward, and then bring it in. So stretch, reach it forward, and then bring it in. So here you can kind of flow. You'll notice that I like to bend my other arm slightly. So you might keep it straight or bent. And here we're using the abdominals as well as the underarms. A little bit of triceps. Two more. And last one. You want to be really stable in that standing arm. So now we switch. Your standing arm is just as important as the moving arm. So you're going to lean, stretch forward, and then lean, stretch back. And as you're moving forward and back, push the ground away with your standing arm. And really feel for the underarms as well as the abdominals. This is not a heavy duty exercise, but you do want your shoulders to be stable. Last two. And last one. And then come back in. From here, we're going to work with the legs. So I'm going to ask you to take your glider to your right foot and your knees are on the mat. I'm just going to slide back a little bit. The idea is to bring your legs straight and to create a circle from the floor using your right leg to kick out and pull in. Abdominals strong, shoulders wide, and the head slightly lifted. Reverse the direction. Now, some of you could do this pose with a straight leg, and you can find yourself in a nice plank. Last two. And last one. Bring it in. Switch. Take your glider to your other foot. Find your fingers spread out, arms nice and strong, and begin to draw your circle. Notice that the shoulders and hips are nice and still, nice and wide. Feel free to straighten out the leg on the other side. Reverse the direction of your circle. And again, you can find your breath moving your body. Last two. And last one. Release. Now you're going to take both gliders to your feet and come onto your forearms. So when you're on your forearms, you might need an extra cushion for your arms and for your legs. So again, the space you might need to orient yourself in you might have just enough to kick your legs back. We're going to take the legs out and in. So lifting from underneath the arms, this is a challenging move to do. So if you want to go one leg at a time, or take a break throughout. We've got 10 and 9 and 8. Press the mat away. Use your finger pads. Really lift from underneath the arms. Inner thighs. Pull the gliders in. Last three. 
last two and last one draw the knees in and then come on up okay so that was tough but the next one is the even more challenging so do as many as you can it's the pike and the pike is almost like you're going into a handstand so here i like to have a hardwood floor i don't really like to have any padding you're going to take your legs straight and basically lift your hips up and slowly slide them back think of your triceps pushing up and away and then slide your legs back lengthen lift the hips and then lengthen and slide back so nice glide and slide some of your floors might be a little bit sticky or they might feel a little bit um, rigid so you might have a harder time doing this one this one the floor i'm using has little ridges so i can feel it kind of taking the smoothness away try two more last one and then when you come back return to your mat bring your knees down all right from here we're going to go back to our hands spread the fingers on the floor and then we have one more kind of upper body and core movement so it's like mountain climber but we're going to go to the outside and glide the legs in and out pressing away can you feel all the strength you need here this is definitely an advanced move press away lift from underneath the arms and use your abdominals last four three two and last one bring the knees in and then come up okay so our first move where we were gliding and sliding with our hands on the glider is where we're going next and we're going to use that to stretch out our back from those last few plank exercises so fingers spread out knees are hip distance apart lengthen stretch and then belly to spine think of tailbone heavy round your spine and again lengthen and pull from the base of your spine up and lengthen from the base from the low back middle back and the upper back round two more and last one it's good to really breathe out that air on this one all right from here come back to your hands and knees and let's repeat our nice big stretch we'll start with the right arm reaching and pulling in now you can also add that little bit of extra movement bringing the hips forward and back it actually makes it easier but it's just a nice stretch especially for the arm that's on the floor that's not moving so really go from underneath stretch out those lats and you're also working a little bit from the other side the underneath the abdominals as well as the serratus anterior muscles and switch come into center and let's reach and then come back and again this one might take a little bit of time you want to really be mindful of the straight arm maybe it bends when you come back it doesn't have to stay straight but eventually you work it straight and it's just the flow it's more of a natural movement it's not supposed to be really technical last one and then release come onto your hands and knees take your arms up off the floor for a moment take your hands flip your palms stretch through those wrists stretch through your hands release roll your shoulders and then with your hands you're going to bring them in front make a fist and open your hands make a fist and open your hands good stretch for the wrists fist great for carpal tunnel wrist issues and just to release those hands from all those planks two more to go and last one and just shake it out all right we did it gliding and sliding is done you've completed your core exercises thanks for joining me and y yoga and we'll see you soon again